my name is James from Digging for Deals, and I was going to tell you what happened pretty much since I did my last vlog. Um, I had a birthday, so on the 27th, and we went up there, we got some pretty good stuff actually. I mean, not the best stuff, but we did get like a tattoo gun, which I'm going to sell. Um, actually, I already have somebody that wants to buy it, I just have to wait till they get paid. Um, I got a lot of other stuff. I've been kind of dealing with allergies, so I haven't been able to list all that much. Um, but we went to a store that was going to let me sell some of their games and whatnot, and they apparently said no. They're going to have uh, his wife's mom do it, which that's fine, but we kept on coming and coming so we could sell for them I mean I was proving that I was going to keep coming so we might honestly not go there anymore I mean as you can see I have enough board games and I have a I actually have all the board games in the world because I own a tabletop simulator which is on Steam I don't know what else it's on but you basically can download any game you want and play with your friends so, I haven't bought too many board games, except for ones that, like, it's easier to learn in person. Like, uh, which one is it? Lords of Waterdeep? That one, I don't think my friend would play it, unless we played it in person. He's kind of weird. Same with me. I'm, I'm a little weird on things. But we did end up selling, like, 15 items, maybe 16, counting that tattoo thing. Um, some haven't paid yet, so I'm waiting on shipping, but, um, dad took up, like, eight things, and apparently the shipping was wrong. I don't know how I got it wrong. I mean, I did the measurements, I did the weights. They were supposed to send mom a, um, email showing how it changed and whatnot, but she hasn't got any email, so I'm pretty sure we paid enough. It's just they were the wrong things. Um, I mean, we were only saving like 15 cents on most of them. So we're going to just start taking them up to the post office. In fact, after those two people pay, I'm going to start, I'm going to take the rest of the stuff up to the post office. So, um, but that kind of sucks because since we are doing that now, we just bought more ink and more labels. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm starting, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing, um, kind of my own sort of system, not like eBay's, but different, where I will make up a spreadsheet or whatever, have, I guess a draft is a better word, have a name, postage, and everything else, and have my logo, and then instead of having to handwrite everything, I can just stick it on there. Which would be a little bit better. I'm going to have to find out size and everything else. Because it's just... all of this is work in progress. I mean, even my intro and outro. My last video, I noticed that didn't have sound on my outro. I'm like... Well... What happened there? <laughs> I'm also trying to get over allergies. That's why I'm probably sounding a little bit more nasally than I normally am. Um, we're going to start, hopefully, making some merchandise, which, since I don't have to wear a coat anymore, I can actually show a shirt. I already have shirt designs made. Um, I doubt anybody would want to buy them right away, because I only have 64 people, maybe 63, I don't know, it goes up and down constantly. Um, but we're going to start making that. And then we're going to, well, I'm going to have to kind of decide. Because me and dad watched a video and he, um, the guy said that the algorithm, which I've been trying to mess with, does not work until after 35, 35 um, videos are up. So we're going to have to start doing a lot more shorts, anything that it has moving parts, which we don't have really any with moving parts. I'm going to have to do little shorts of. We had a cuckoo clock, but 
at the time we thought it was a good idea to exchange it but it wasn't because <laughs> you can on eBay you can only list one thing at a time which is really annoying there is a way to do it but I don't know how to and I don't know I did fix mom's thing which is the same thing that I'm talking about where you can sell multiple things at once they're the same thing I just made it $80 and said I'm done with it <laughs> Somebody wants them, they want them. And then I think starting bid was 40 so $5 per scrub. Um, which isn't bad. If you actually do buy scrubs and you're in a, a nursing situation, I mean, they're $20, $15 usually. And I've had them forever. And I kind of want to just make some profit off of them. Um, we could make more because, I mean, they're scrubs. More people will probably bid on them. If I was somebody, I'd just do the buy it now, because then that's 10 for 8 scrub tops. Um, and then, other than the algorithm, he also... I think it might have been a different video, but he was talking about, well, what is your channel? Is it education? Is it um, entertainment? I actually don't know. Dad said that was probably education, but I'm not teaching you all that much. I mean, I'm teaching you prices. But I'm also learning prices. So I think it's more of both. Because you're seeing how I do things. And you can learn off of me. But you could easily learn off of somebody else as well. I mean. I don't know. Um, We got a few bids. I believe Lego Ghostbusters got a bid. Uh, the Star Trek thing got a bid. Which is kind of crappy because then I have to replace them I guess I can replace them with the classic train and something else maybe the Keurig or the uh, actually maybe the uh, what's it called a sous vide that might be good to put up there I don't know um, I'm also thinking on rearranging this, but I'm not sure. I do like how it is, but at the same time, I probably could get more storage space if I rearranged it a bit. But that takes a long time, and I don't know. Last week, I got totally burnt out from this. I mean, I did finish everything, it's just I got burnt out. And now, this week, I've been messing with allergies, so... I haven't got much done. Like, I thought I was done on Tuesday. I'm like, yay, I finished everything. And mom brings me out, like, 15 things. I'm like, really? Because I already did 15 listings. I don't know. Dad wants to make it where I don't feel too stressed by mom bringing me stuff out. But then she brings out too much. Like... If she brought out 15 things and then did it to five things and I just had or even five things a day like 25 things a week list them all do videos you know because a lot of my time spent is learning um, I was except for this week because I was kind of trapped in bed and I just watched shows um, I did get stuff done though um, I'm nearly done with what I have now. I just need to make sure and then I have to go through one of these weeks and make sure everything that is in here is listed. Um, we have stuff in the back as well, which needs listed. But I don't know. I am starting to realize though at the Don't Let Miss Outlet, they kind of... With some items, it's easy to tell where they'll put them. Like, I haven't found out about the food, because some people say, oh, they hide stuff in the food. I haven't seen it, them hide anything in the food. I've seen them hide things on the top shelf, because nobody looks there. Um, like, the Mandalorian, the Tinkerbell, both of those I found on the top shelf, which is smart. I mean, there's like 40 to $60 items, so put them up there, nobody's going to see them, and then... Somebody just get it, like a worker. Because if nobody buys them, I guess the workers get to mess with them after the day. 
But then again, that somebody said they can buy them at the end of the day, and somebody said they can't buy anything at all. So I'm kind of confused there. I mean, if I was him, I'd hold some stuff back. I'd still, like, if there's duplicates, I'd probably keep one. But that's just me. I mean, if I'm going to buy it anyway, like, if there's a VR headset, I want one. I mean, I've been trying to get one, and not one of those phone VR ones. One of the actual ones where you have augmented reality and stuff, which are like $800, and ugh, I, I can't spend that. I don't even want to spend that. Um, uh, besides that, I've been changing my videos to MP4s. So I can put them into there and get my intro and outro on my video. Which I found a website for that. Which if anybody wants it, I'll link it. But again, nobody watches these. I do have like 4,000 hours watch time. But I think that might just be family. I don't honestly know. So if you do watch and you're not family, say something, please. <laughs> because if I'm just doing this for like three people... It's going to kind of make me, I don't know, discouraged. But, again, it's just a process. Like, in my gaming channel, I only had three people on. And I had 30-something videos on it. Which, I'm debating on doing that again. And I'm debating on doing, like, a story time thing. Where, basically, I would do a live chat. Or I would just do... A video and I would ask like setting and everything else and then the next video I'd make a story off of it which I mean that comes pretty natural for me for some reason but anyways hope you guys have a good day like share and subscribe please <laughs>